As a multiple winner of the Robo One Championships, Garou is an excellent example of the extremes that robot builders will go to to excel at the sport. The robot's frame and mechanical parts have been pared down to the absolute minimum because weight is such a critical factor. They try to pack as much power and performance into the robot as possible while staying within the weight restrictions. Although they take meticulous care of the robot, you can see from some of the scratches and wear, especially around the knees, how much damage it takes during the matches. Being able to maintain balance and stability, yet being able to move extremely rapidly is a big challenge. The soles of Garou's feet are as long and wide as the rules allow, and include narrow contact strips on the bottom. One of the robot's most effective battle techniques is to reach out and grab opponents by their ankles and quickly tip them over. The plastic shields around the robot's ankles appear to be guarding against that same thing happening to it. Garou's electronics and servos are from Kondo Robotics. Since they use top-of-the-line parts, designing a robot like this isn't cheap. A single high-performance servo can cost several hundred dollars, and the most competitive robots use from 15 to 20 or more servos. So you really have to be committed and passionate to play at this level. The gripper design is particularly interesting because it utilizes two servos. That doubles the cost over a single servo design, but also doubles the power and the speed. It makes perfect sense if you're 100% committed to winning and don't care as much about the cost. Technically, Garou and From Kid are essentially the same robot design. The big difference between the two is in the fighting spirit and the tactics of the operators.